Right. Boom. Yeah, are we shooting? Yeah. We got cameras taking pictures of people, taking pictures of people. Oh taking my God, pictures we're of people. So locally infamous, world famous. <laughs> that was this awesome. is Brandy. Now, Brandy is really super excited. Oh, Brandy's so excited because she's new here. Yeah. Kind of, oh, kind of like all that happened in the last month or two or something? Oh, uh, about the last six months. Right. But quickly. Quickly, rather quickly. Yeah, she had a, a horse property in Kansas. She, she did a reverse heel click <laughs> and ended up in Cochise County. Now, if you click your heels, then you end up in where she came from. Unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> we should never do that again. Never. Not ever. So she's moving out here right now. She got this beautiful property in McNeil. There we are, McNeil. We're off for Frontier Road. You guys know Frontier Road. And there's the Mule Mountains over there, and you guys know the area, even though you don't live here, you know it all. Brandy has, doesn't know anything about killer bees. This is all new to her. She posted on Facebook saying, I have this bee tree and I have no idea what to do. And of course, it, I really thought there would be more people going, save the bees, you know, don't kill them and all that bullshit. Because they're all killer bees. But you said there was a lot of response of there are killer bees don't yes mess with them. they are dangerous don't mess with them so awesome. i am super thankful of of that i'm so community. glad to hear yeah, that, that i'm that, very thankful because i could have easily the honey learned moon. the hard way and yeah. lost a dog we, these bees look like they've been in this old dead tree like forever and so i sharpened up the chainsaw we're going to cut some stuff off you know and kind of get into it a little bit she showed us basically where it is we're going to drive back to it of course uh, probably Trez and Hosh will walk back. I want to get the truck as close as possible so that we have reception with the wee boost. And if I'm mumbling a little bit or slurring, I just had a major uh, t a tooth surgery thing. I had to cut my gum. I, had to, I don't know. Had the, it was the worst vasectomy ever. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> I had. I got. They like, went in through the mouth. They went in through the mouth. That's how it was. Amazing. The weirdest vasectomy Amazing. ever. It's like oh. <laughs> First we got Hosh. Looking handsome, the service dog. I just love it. That's ridiculous. And of course, Trez, would you like to say good morning, Trez? Come on, let go of the phone. Let, let go. Say of the say phone. Let go. Let say go of the morning. phone. Let go of the phone. Say good morning. Good morning. Okay, say it again. Okay, say my perky. Yeah, yeah. There you are. They're gonna watch from inside the house, and if you hear what sounds like a little girl screaming. It's all of us. <laughs> Killer Bee Guy will return after these messages. Hi, Killer Bee Nation. If you'd like to get some honey, go to kbg.com. That's right, killerbeeguy.com. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm not on the drugs yet for the tooth. Just give it a minute. It's kicking in. I feel it. Anyway, Killer Bee Nation. Uh, yeah, get some honey. You know. Anyway, love you guys. We now return to Killer Bee Guy. They already know we're here and they're all the way over there. I mean, it's like a long ways away, so. Well, we all know about these damn things. All right, come on, Tris. I wanted to just mention to everyone that you know how I've said there is no uh, bedroom in the hive, there is no cemetery, and no bathroom, okay? But I did, uh, uh, some new knowledge has come to my my uh, attention. Did you know that, Hosh? What's that? Some, that when the queen bee has to go to the bathroom, it's kind of a special affair, <laughs> all right? Yes, the bathroom bee. The, the bathroom, yeah, the, when the queen bee has to go to the bathroom, it's kind of a special affair. And she has her own roll of toilet paper, even. <laughs> and, and so this is this is literally what we find in every hive. I know, I know, but we try not to show it because well, it's embarrassing. It's, you know, potty stuff. It's potty stuff. It poopy doopy. We're trying to yeah. keep it PG. Hey, Reed. What? Everybody poops. 
Oh, oh there's a country say. song in there. Uh, it was, it, it was, it, it was an episode. It was, you were, you're an episode. All right, I'm going to get my, my uh, pond gloves on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. We're going to have to cut, definitely. we're going to need to get the chainsaw and cut all this shit out of here. Yeah. It definitely, because we get some angry bees. They want to sting your ass up and kill last time. Reed, we may be able to get some comb out of this. It's pretty dry, though. Look. Oh my god! It's really dry. But I mean, there's propolis. Well, it is that time of year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do because there's so many holes in this. I'm gonna get a trash bag. Well, yeah, because there's no comb in it. Oh, look at the look at the. We're uh, gonna get into some honey. Bags. That's why I want to turn this shit out of the oh, way. Okay. 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 An old, old hive, as you know. Uh, we might even try to cut one of the limbs off. This has got to come down, obviously. Uh, it's hard to get honey out of a trunk, as you know, because it gets it, sawdust all over the place. Also, this is really unsafe with all this crap here. <laughs> Great. I sharpened it up last night. Don uh, got us this. Um, Hoach to drag this stuff out of the way. This thing is amazing, Hoach. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huh? Eh? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this thing, huh? Oh, you're just doing it. Some of this, you yeah, know. Yeah, definitely save the chunks. Yeah. Save the chunks! Fuck the bees. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, I don't care who we are. No, I really don't. So those of you that don't know, every Friday we have a 3 p.m. matinee on YouTube premiere. 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Oh, they're going down into the root ball. Uh oh. Watch out. I mean, if you're okay, but just get rid of what's behind. Yeah. Let me clear this out. It looks like Randy's going to have a little bonfire. Okay, I'm worried about that. She said she don't. She said don't. <laughs> right, exactly. No, she did. No, she said, she don't, said don't, don't worry. Oh, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Wow, look at this. You know, we got propolis here. I can see it. Right through the top. I, I have a buzzing in my she ear. She said What'd just, you say? don't worry about it, just kill them. Okay. <laughs> these, these nice little gentle honeybees, oh my god. Oh, they're, they're, we need them. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, we got honey. Honey. This time of year, it's hard to get honey out because honey where they store the honey is their pantry. 
and also the pollen. And that is what they eat on all winter. There's no wildflowers out here. And so they have been eating on it. That's why most of this is dry. There's hollow. Each little cell. See, now, all right, I'm, I'm explaining all this to Brandy because she's brand new with this shit. So, um, each cell in a honeycomb is a canning jar for bees that they will use over and over again. And that's why this is so, the older the comb, the darker. This is stained from use. And so it can be either, now is when my nose itches. Fucking great, right? And look at, they're all over my net. I can't stretch my fucking nose. Well, it makes me forget what I was talking about. Ah. Anyway, um, we got honey here, which means really old hives, because they make more than they need, is the point. So, man, they are, they really like you, Trez. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Interesting no, land. Be a Just look at how it landed. It's an extension of the post. Oh, wow. Did they go up there? Well, there's a wasp's nest in here. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my, yeah. Oh. It's wild kingdom eat your heart out. Yeah. So this, this up here, there's wasps. Oh, their stingers are bigger. You might be able to do that. My shoulder won't take it. There it goes. Here, look at, look at this. Look at them come pouring out of here, guys. Oh, look at that. So, Brandy, you didn't realize that it's still a bee removal and tree trimming service. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the interest of saving people's lives, people and animals. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's getting hurt today. That ain't gonna happen. You know, this goes down though. That's what I'm trying to figure out how to access, right? Because right. this is good honey, and it's so rare to get honey out of a tree, everyone. Uh, if can, you maybe, maybe. cut in yeah. down here, sure. sideways. Uh, yes. If this is POV, you're a bear. Get on. Powerful. Yeah, portable, powerful. Yes. And don't get in its way. What? <laughs> so in a pinch you can use motor oil instead of bar oil, everyone, just so you know. So yeah, awesome little uh, little uh, chainsaw there, Don. Don Char, uh, our good uh, buddy out in uh, Pennsylvania, got us these. He uh, keeps us safe, don't you, Don? Do I need to cut some more? Now I'm in a fucking mood. I'm gonna I got it. Cut I'm gonna cut a cord. Hold off. All right, fine. I mean, I can, let me let me get this stuff out. Oh, 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 look at that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Once you get that out, I want to cut. That's a great shot, Tris. <coughs> yeah, I'll tell well, you. Thank I you. Feel, but what about the? I feel really. I'm really happy. I've got these insoles on, actually. You know, I these can't insoles, wait. So, they feel so, really good. So Don sent us insoles because I stepped on that nail the other day. Remember, Tris? Mm -hmm. And so he's sending you insoles for your boots that are, are bulletproof. <coughs> uh, um, Host just came in already, <coughs> and he's wearing them. So they're really that nice. Oh, they're great. They feel really good. They're comfortable and also safe. Wow. Yeah, well, in that case, I can't wait. <coughs> Damn, huh? Look at this. It's beautiful. Really amazing. Only an older hive like this and a rotten old piece of wood would we be able to get this much comb out of here. Rotten old piece of wood. Don't, that was my other porn star name. Anyway. That was kind of towards the end. You knew that was coming. Toward the end. <laughs> I always know it's coming. It's always towards it's the always end. It's always coming. It's always, yeah. If it's a goofy enough thing. <laughs> wow, I wonder how far down that goes. You know, it's just so amazing to get honey out of this. It's just yep. beautiful. Yep. Wow. And you see how mean they are? It's like they, they don't care about temperature. I keep saying it. They don't care about temperature and they don't care about your feelings. They don't care about my feelings. I know. They're me the most. It's like, oh, God. Well, you're doing it. When you get to a stage, yes. I will zip off some Broadway? Off-Broadway? Uh, Off-Broadway. You ain't ready yet. 
<laughs> you know, all the world's a stage. No, it is for me. That's for fucking Damn right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's good stuff. Isn't that amazing? Jersey, oh. okay, over there, how's your back? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bees. this before. <laughs> look, at this, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh look my at god. This. It's eating oh. him. It's eating him. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was uncalled for. Yeah. Totally called for. That's why we did it. Totally called for. <laughs> what the fuck kind of channel do you think this is? <laughs> it's a G Wiz. It's rated G Wiz. From the, the called for network. The called for network. Oh, that's hilarious. Yes, there yeah, are producers. Yeah, you are completely covered in bees. Wow, well, brood. We got brood. Wow. Well, what do you think? I cut a section off. Well, let me see what I can. Yeah, grab if you can here. drag him up, then that's even better because no. Uh, drag and drop. Drag and drop. Yep, <laughs> that's what we call uh, a prehistoric poop. Drag and drop. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're well, they're flying. Yes. Pterodactyl shit. Drag and drop. Let's go down there. Look at this. So this is exactly the kind of thing that, you know, You're I was concerned about. Mm -hmm. Ready? Right. It's pouring out of there. So if I cut this down here, we're going to pull this back. Yeah, let me let me see if I can get some more of that out of there okay, before yep, you make another yep. cut. No, I don't want to loft it up. I just haven't operated a chainsaw for a while. You're excited. enjoying it. You're enjoying it. I am uh, doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken. Chickens are going to eat good. So the brood comb, of course, is where they lay, the, where they have the babies. And uh, most of the chickens get that. That's funny. funny. Yeah. Wow, new comb, newer, anyway, new ish. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, put that. Oh, put that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Just keep going. Dude, there's a lot in there. Did you see how I'm cutting it from here? It makes all the sawdust come out. Right, right. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's pretty pretty clean considering we're getting that out, oh, out of a tree. This never happens. Oh, my gosh. It was too bad the one for the BLM uh, had two weeks to eat it all. Right? We would have got a lot out of that. That's going to be a crazy That's gonna edit. Be fun. Okay. I'm. Wow. Yeah. I think we need to make more access or. No. No. Uh uh. That's going to be it, actually. I mean, oh, we can. So, we can, so the, you know, the root balls, I believe this is a mesquite tree. And the root balls on these are not usually hollow. Which is why when you dig up a big ass old tree like this, Big asshole tree like this. Yes. Um, <laughs> it will be. What oh, is? Anyway, what are you laughing at? I don't know. She does that all the time. It will be Some a solid burl, is what they call it. Burl lives. And they cut them, and they make beautiful tables and shit because the the you know the way the wood is in these. They're not usually hollow with these situations. Did you hit a dead end down there? Yes. Okay. I'm yep. At the bottom. Yep. You're at the bottom. He, he finally hit bottom. The way Rock the wood, bottom. The way the wood ends. It's a romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> Have you read that one, Tris? The way the wood ends. Uh, it's very predictable. Is it by V. C. Andrews? Very predictable. Oh, he's in a mood. It's better he gets in a mood now than when the job is done. Right. <laughs> that, that's what usually happens. That's what usually happens. Usually we finish a job and then I'm like, Ooh. Ooh. It's a big mitten. It's a mitten. It's mittens. Yes. It's mittens. Mittens. <laughs> mittens. The honeycomb. Killer bee mittens. Oh, mittens. The honeycomb. <laughs> Jesus. That That's was my porn. <laughs> no, it's Wisconsin. Okay, it would only take a guy. No, it's a mitten. Never mind. The way the wood ends. It's uh, not a very long novel. Oh, wrong. Oh, oh my. It's not, it's a wrong one, but not a very long one. The way the wood ends. It's usually with a pregnancy, right? Anyway, you you hit the bottom, right? Yeah. Rock bottom. So, <laughs> so now what we're we're gonna do is uh, 
We'll put spray some undercoating in there so that it'll kill off whatever it is. The left of them, the rest, the left of them, the, re the right of them too. It'll kill off the rest of them and. Uh, undercoating? Yeah, just undercoating. We ain't gonna use any poison on this. Wow, look at that. Look at that, guys. Beautiful comb. So they're still pissy and. Um, I mean, there were enough bees here to kill 100 horses. It happens with a hive because you have to remember that it only takes 500 stings to equal a snake bite, and you have a stick up your ass. I <laughs> did, literally. Well, my, under yes. my understanding, <laughs> Reed, is actually that horses, yeah. you know, they'll they'll get stung up, and actually it doesn't even take 500 stings. No. With a horse, no. they'll get stung and they'll have a heart attack. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how, how horses most horses die. get killed from, yeah. from uh, bee, a bee so, attack. So literally, this hive here, she's got 12 horses. Oh, they would have killed them all. Could yeah. Evilly, yeah. E yeah. easily have done that, easily. and evilly. And of course, evilly, and evilly easily. And easily. Yes, indeed. So, um, and another thing, of course, is everyone knows that we're doing here, is these things are so damned evil because they are huge competitors with our native pollinators for food source and housing. And so they compete. These are invasive. These are an invasive species. For all of you new out there in TikTok land, honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere. They do not belong here. Our European honeybees, they're called European honeybees. Not Alabama honeybee. And not, you know, I've never heard of a Southwestern honeybee or any other. They're, they're invasive. They were brought over. There were no honeybees in the state of Arizona before 1872 ever. Ever and ever and amen. So you know, people wonder, well, how do people eat? Well, native pollinators they pollinate all of our native plants here. But those native pollinators have a special relationship with our native plants, as in they uh, call it buzz pollination, where a bumblebee, which is a native pollinator, will go to a plant and buzz at a certain frequency, literally a certain number of hertz, and the flower will respond and open up and release its pollen to that bumblebee. Honeybees don't do that, especially these Africanized. The problem with these Africanized bees is they do everything better, including destroy, but also collecting nectar. Wow. Oh my! Damn it, there went my ride. You seem to have sirens. <laughs> Actually, there's a huge. Uh, uh, air, there's a really cool training school for uh, air, airframe and power down here at the at the uh, Cochise County College. Uh, Doug, that's right just south of here. So anyway. Um, the fuck was I talking about, Tris? Saving the native pollinators. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. These guys, <laughs> ah, she, doesn't, she doesn't care. Either. I'm I'm looking. I'm not listening. Yeah, you're, you're not listening. You're, you're... There's a lot of remnant blues on the other side. So Brandy can hear me uh, through the window. I'm going to explain all this and all you guys out in TikTok land uh, and YouTube and all the platforms should know because we get asked this all the time are these bees okay these are called remnant bees because they're leftovers of the hive and they uh people always ask are they going to go find a new place to live or will they build their own hive because when we leave i mean look at them in the log over there Trace. Oh my. yeah well, <laughs> i knew that was coming up oh okay remnant bees are like an amputated limb so, you can live without your finger, but your finger can't live without you. So she's going to have the finger here, all right? I'm not saying which one, but she, anyway. Um, so, these bees, all right, if your finger's amputated, my finger is chopped off, it's not going to crawl over to Trez and latch onto her knee and become part of Trez. No, it's not going to happen. Uh, wishful thinking. Huh? Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I can't afford that anymore. Anyway. Oh, that was awesome. Holy shit. Okay, then also, my finger, this amputated, laying on the ground, is not going to crawl away and make a new human. Same thing with these remnant bees. The best analogy I can come up with. These bees are screwed. They're pretty much fucked. They will die off like individual cells of an organism, because that's what we see a beehive is, an organism much like our cells, with each bee being a cell and the queen being the heart and the brain. As far as getting the queen, we don't give a shit. She has collateral damage. It's just as if your heart, okay, the queen being the heart, if she was out of your body without a lot of your body, your heart can't live. So this queen now is, um, if she's alive, we don't care, she will not have enough of the body to uh, start a new hive. 
in my 30 years of doing this, I, I've never had it happen. The bees have never go started a new hive, and they've never gone and joined another hive. Every hive is an enemy of every other hive. They hate each other. The only reason they visit each other is to steal honey. So they're just like people. That was funny, damn it. Anyway, three seconds of removal. There's a ball of bees hanging in a tree, a swarm. Uh, they never used to be deadly, now they are. And those are really, really straightforward for us as far as removal go. And then there's what we call the nuisance field, which is like if there's a block wall or a stucco wall, and we can't tear the house down or cut the tree down, then we, just like it sounds, we nuke them and seal up the hole. We use our pyrethrin, pesticide made from chrysanthemum flowers, and we kill the hive and seal up the hole, and that's it. And educate everybody about what happened. Then there's this. This is the fun stuff. And so, whether it's under a shed or in a tree or up in the roof, wherever the hell it is, you guys see us do this all the time. And so, in a normal year, we'll get over three ton of honey from... People ask me how many hives you got. I don't keep hives anymore, but I've got hundreds of them all over the county in people's trees and walls and under their sheds. That's awesome, right? So, uh, so anyway, this is working out really well. It's going to get really cold again tonight, Brandy like probably down in the 20s and then it'll start warming up so when the weather's like this it makes us look really really good <laughs> because these little bastards will all be it'll it's over right they'll all die off now another reason that you're gonna have these visiting though is this is so cool you guys this shows how much like vikings these damn things are in a three mile radius Three miles, all the way over there, all the way over there. <coughs> all the beehives know about each other. In case they can steal honey from each other. Yeah, that's it. So you're gonna have neighboring bees sniffing around. We call them robber bees. So you got remnants and robbers. Remnant bees will all die off probably by tomorrow morning because it's gonna get so cold they got nowhere to go. Uh, the robber bees on the other hand will come sniffing around because they know this tree is here and they know honey was in there. But they couldn't get the honey because of the guard bees. Their job is to protect, protect the hive from anything and all things, whatever it is. Especially other bees trying to steal honey. They're going to come sniffing around. They won't be aggressive. At least they better not be because they are like bees on flowers. All right, They just want to get the goods and go home. They think this was a great big beautiful Walmart that was full of shit that they couldn't steal. Well, now it's just simply gone. <laughs> so. Anyway, that's uh, so. This is working out really well. That's the that's the lowdown on what's going to happen now. Uh, Killer Bee Nation, we love having you guys along. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been a it's another successful removal. If you've got bees, honey bees, you know, coming out of an old tree in your yard, if you're in Cochise County, give us a call. They're Killer Bees. 100% of the feral unmanaged honeybee hives in the state of Arizona, not to mention Cochise County, where they're particularly virulent and nasty. Yes, they are, I know. Compared to the rest of the country, we got the best of the worst. The they're worst killer the bees. You don't want to mess around with them. You want to get rid of them. They're a deadly invasive species, and they're bad on the environment. But they pollinate. Nah, it doesn't matter. They're bad for the environment. You got to get that. Uh, if you're anywhere else in the U.S., please understand that honeybee Africanization is on the rise all over the United States. 100% of the feral unmanaged honeybee hives south of the Mason-Dixon line are killer bees. And that, that line is going to move north because this is the better bee. This bee wins. This bee takes over. So call an exterminator. Never relocate. Always exterminate. Save our native pollinators. We'll see you guys on the next job. Go to killerbeeguy.com. Get some honey, honey. Mm -mm. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next bee removal. Brandy, you're, you're a fine, fine bee. What, what a big hive in your tree. tree. Thank you, Dom, for the chainsaw. It was fun. You're going to be a star, kid. You keep singing like that. Your name and lights. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep doing singing. Keep doing. It's going to go viral. Got this view right now, me. Not me. Wait a minute. You don't want to look at me. Fuck. Turn around. There we go. Look those fucking knots out there. Oops. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Fucking gorgeous. Yeah.
All right, Bubba, well, we're going to live stream her. We go down YouTube, go to Killer Bee Guy, and you can watch us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Smarter than some folks I know, that's for right. <laughs> well, no, this is our buddy Mike here. Mike, moved here. You've had this a couple of months. Yes. Oh, man, welcome. Moved down from Tucson, and he called a couple of, of other exterminators about his tree. So we just got done with that job that we didn't have reception on. Well, it's life, you know. And uh, then Mike calls, and he had left a couple of messages. Hello, and hello, hello. so we're like, we're 15 minutes away. We're going to roll over. So he, before that, and this happens a lot, he called a couple of other uh, licensed exterminators around, and they said, nope, not if it's in a tree, forget it. Yep, forget it. Nobody, you know, we'll truck around and have some more fun, Killer Bee Nation. So, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get on YouTube. Watch there we go. Around. All right, Hi. If you're going to pull around, I need to get out. Well, I, yeah, I've been saying that for years. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> That's it. Bye. Bye. So remember what I said, guys, about the same kinds of jobs showing up over and over? Here we are, another tree. You know, I remember last year it was ground bees, endless ground bees, bees underground. Now they're in the trees all the time. It's pretty weird. So even though I just had surgery on my tooth, I gotta eat a little something. So I'm eating on one side. Damn! Okay, I'm gonna put on my neck. We'll yeah, see you guys in a second. Definitely. So they're up here in this tree. Come on, Trez, I'll show you where they're at. I'm gonna have to get a ladder. I can probably, uh, well, we'll see what we need. They're up in the crotch. But I've seen guard bees here too. So they've got multiple entrances and who knows how far up this goes in terms of hollow. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I have to say what I could play with these guys is the fingers are like sausages. Can you stop complaining, Trez? No, I can't. It's always the complaining and you have that woman flipping me off on your shirt. That is so you know that when I am silent, I am still complaining. Yeah, I know. Your very existence is just your existential complaint. <laughs> All yes. right, let's get the bees. Let's Do get it. the hat. Sure. It is in the tree. Sing it. More. What is that thing called? The Crotch. Singing. The let's get the bees. Do it. Uh -huh. Here he comes. Na, 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 well, she's dancing and singing. Look, I mean, it's actually turned. Look at. Oh my god. I think it's more of a cry for help. It is. It is. <laughs> Active as hell up here, guys. Look at all this dark right here. Propolis. That's propolis. Look at the little hole. See the hole? See the hole? God. See the fucking hole? But they're on top, too. But look at the hole. But they're on top, too. That's their emergency. Look how dark. That That's an emergency some, exit. That is some serious staining. Can you guys see that? And you know all about that. Oh, they're already coming out the emergency exit. Holy crap. Look, come here. Come guys. here. Are they coming? It looks like it's... Pro I Trez, we're going for the Alfreda Chainsaw Massacre. You don't need a, a chainsaw to be terrifying in Alfreda. <laughs> you just wake up there. Oh, 15 to 20 if you get caught. But then in addition to Okay. This is so dark, this staining here. You see this? Holy crapazoid. Look at how dark this is. That is so incredibly dark. Uncle Florida Bob says hello to all of us. Who does? Uncle Florida Bob. Oh, Bob, my God, I haven't heard from you for a while. How the hell are you? I'll it's kind of weird because we actually have an Uncle Florida Bob. You do? It's really nice. Story. Yeah, here, Trez, I'm going to let you get up there and take a look at this. So. It's really beautiful. Uh, that that heavy of a staining uh, um, with that uh, propolis is just decades and decades. I'm stuck. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Well, the second door here. Well, oh. and I'm afraid that we. Oh, have this is that door. Look at that. Oh, it is. 
Is that tall enough for you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me being a perfect stature. Well. So there's two holes now. Two holes full. Oh my. I'm tempted. I'm wondering if you got more. Yeah, well, more. you know what? I don't want to have to come back. And no. he wants to cut this down. Sorry, Charles. That's okay. I didn't... What's that? Is that a bowel action? That... Anyway. Um, I've been treed. What do you think? Uh, I think that we have no neighbors, correct? That's a banner in the back there, it looks anyway. Looks like I don't hear any animals, dogs, or anything. Do you? Do you see any more holes anywhere? This is apparently the limb. I kind of want to get that bigger get ladder. Get and this get that. Did you already show I, the top one? I tried to, but I, I so we've got, a different angle. So we've got one door here, and we got... Getting a nice capture yeah. of these guys. So. Yeah, no, they're good. Oh, we did. Okay, Tris. This whole knot really is what we're looking at then. Look at them attacking his. Super 
in a non-toxic way to knock down thousands of bees in midair so they don't try to kill us like they're trying to do now. So yeah, these bees, well, and of course you guys know they're Africanizer killer bees. Have we still got all of our reception and everything, Chris? As far as I can tell. Huh? As far as I can tell. Okay, we're not we already got the new van in there, which is the residual. And so it takes them a little while to get these cut down.
right near the metro. So, yeah. Most of the mall. No. Okay, a family dollar? Yes. You guys are very great. The bees, the bees cooperate on this one. They are pink. They're still pink. slaughter ranch they didn't have any any bees really at all whereas two for two years before that it was insane we were out there all the time it was completely nuts i don't know if we'll have reception out there i kind of doubt it but we will try if nothing else we'll get a capture out of it we're going to do that realistically first of the next week so i will let you know trez when that's up all right and uh but we'll go out and it's a Beautiful drive out there. We have to go through Douglas and along the border all the way out to there. And so it's really a, a nice, uh, I always like going out there. But that's one of the few times I get to schedule out a removal. So anyway, well, oh, this worked really well. And of course, when we leave, all these bees flying around because we're the enemy. Uh, we smell like venom and whatnot. Uh, they're going to come back here, land, and die off tonight. Did you have anything to say about more trees? Yeah, once again, everybody, if you got bees coming and going out of a hole in a cottonwood tree, a lot of these things go hollow. If you're in Cochise County, give us a call. We'll come take care of it. Recognize that 100% of the feral unmanaged honeybee hives south of the Mason-Dixon line are Africanized at this point and saturation rates are growing in all 48 states. Don't worry about Alaska, and at this point, I haven't heard anything about a Hawaii uh, invasion, although, uh, you know, it's just a shipping container away, uh, unfortunately. And that's the grim reality of this. The killer bee invasion is on. You can't trust honeybees anymore. Never relocate, always exterminate. Save our native pollinators. We'll see you guys on the next job. I'm way over here and I'm still getting wicked. Yeah. Barbecue goat is good. Okay. Night Nightmare. Oh wait. LSW. Later, Greg. That's some good shit. That's some good shit. 70s we had color TV. Well, we did at my house, but it wasn't like, not everything was in color yet. Black and white televisions. I had a black and white TV. I remember them. In the knobs, we had uh, to watch cartoons in the morning. We had to put it on the U and then 56 in Boston for cartoons. No remotes, right? No remotes. You, you got off the couch. You play with the bunny ears. And, and you play with the bunny ears and you had a hanger and some uh, a tin foil. We had two channels. I have two channels. Oh, I was in the city, so we had a lot yeah. of channels. We had PBS, CB, CBS. Wilcox. Huh? Wilcox. Wow. Got a call 
Cal Cap, he's coming in his house.